Hey, what is up everyone? So for today, um, hopefully you guys are doing pretty well in that whole quarantine stuff. Um, since you guys know I am in Central Valley, so not really in the Bay Area where everyone's basically, basically quarantined. We're more like self-quarantining here in Central California. All of the state is quote-unquote on lockdown. Uh, but if you guys are feeling like the view or image or the video quality is a little bit different, well that is because we're using the old little Acaso camera that I had bought like a couple years ago um, when I first started. I think I only had the Canon camera and then because I was saying that there was like some dust particles and whatnot, which I can see someone here right now. Moving over, one of the things that I wanted to go over you guys is um, in the adaptive headlight, uh, the adaptive headlights delete video, um, I told you guys about how it was done i never really showed you guys and luckily i can show you guys as well and this is basically going to be how to code your uh bmw and i'm going to be straight up honest about this and basically it's not cheap it's not like uh i've seen people do the carly app and even that was limited but now they switched it over to a hundred dollars subscription or so um this is kind of on the same route but not really a subscription you have to pay for it all in full um, I believe if I'm not mistaken, I think coding is about like $80, I believe it was. And then I think it's like 50 or, uh, 50 or $40 for, uh, diagnosis. Um, my math is going to be completely off. I believe it was $90 for coding and then $80 for, uh, diagnosis. But if you get the whole package deal, it's like $160. You have to believe you like save about $10, $20 or so. Whole point is, we're gonna go ahead and talk about Pro Tool. Basically, starting off is you're going to need an Android based phone, tablet, whatever. It has to be Android based. Um, I've only seen it for Androids, and as well as uh, you guys can see a little bit of a sneak peek of what I'm gonna do later in the future. But yeah, you're gonna need this. I literally got this tablet just for that specific purpose of it, and I'm holding my tablet upside down. Okay, so this tablet is basically fresh, new. I don't use it for anything else. Uh, I really got it just for this purpose only. Um, and then another thing you guys are gonna need is a uh, K plus DCAN cable. And at the end of this cable where it plugs into, because a lot of people are gonna be like, well, it's a USB port. If you can find one, it's usually this way. You need what's called an OTG, which is an on-the-go adapter. This on-the-go adapter will help actually transition every all the information that goes in through here into this little guy right here and then this goes into your tablet your tablet is recognizing it not as a charging port or a charging port but actually to transfer data through so let's go ahead piece this all together plug this guy inside here and got that going right there now remember for this to also function you need to be able to put your key inside on the ignition let me make sure i turn everything off before this guy starts going off um we're gonna go to pro tool there's pro tool right there it takes a little bit there we go okay so it's a generation two chassis which you have all these options here um i'm trying to get the best angle you guys can see everything see i've already connected my car to this so many times that it already identifies the car easily um, if I would have used like I did one time to my one of my friend's vehicles, it would uh, did it good. Let me just turn this guy off here. Um, now let's move over to the simplest stuff. So we go to vehicle, connect, and you'll should see establishing network, getting the vehicle information. This may take a little bit if it's the first time you connect to it. Sometimes it takes a little bit. Uh, it goes faster if it's already identified the car before, but usually it does take a little bit uh, of time. Okay, we go there. You guys can see everything. It just went down. So let's go back to vehicle. Uh, read all errors. Since I already purchased the whole package of the licensing of diagnostics and coding, I can do this all by myself. Um, so you guys can see here, there is no errors on the car itself, which is a relief to see. Uh, there is no errors. I drive this car pretty much crazy. Um, you can also have the option to save the errors. Um, and I believe this is more for your sake to go back, uh, let's say if, uh, you have this and your buddy wants you to check out his BMW, uh, you'll be able to sell the, the, you'll be able to read the codes and see everything as well as clear them. Okay, 
Now moving forward, you can see is the chassis stuff where we could disable or the stability control and tire pressure control, which this one actually uh, gives you the function as my car right now has the issue that it keeps asking me to reset or to establish the new tire pressure sen uh, tire pressure, um, and I didn't reset the sensors. So um, I don't think this lets me code it unless I go into expert mode. Um, but I'm not going to do anything. You can go into extra mode and this will allow you to do a lot of different kind of codings and whatnot. So you can see the functions of it. Um, let's move over to that. Actually, let's see this. <clears throat> we can see if there's any errors. No, it will never tell me there's an error. Um, let's get out of here. Let's go to drivetrain real quick. Uh, you'll see all this kind of stuff. So let's go to gear selector. Uh, and there's actually coding for this. I did not know that. <clears throat> uh, we can go on extra mode, uh, confirm. I'm not going to save or really do anything. I'm just going to hit it there. And I mean, you can see kind of this kind of stuff here. And you can change values. I don't know any of these values, so I'm not going to really mess with this. So, I mean, that's just kind of what we're, we're looking at right now. I'm not saving anything, of course. Um, you can read any errors. Uh, there's no errors being found. Safety stuff. This right here is what we're going to get to... Um, I posted up a video before in the past where um, I can actually uh, fold my mirrors in and now so uh, to do that you're gonna go to coding you're gonna go to edit coding itself this is for some of the basic stuff that I honestly willing to do so then yes um and go for it um actually you can actually even change this um these are just kind of the lights some of the standard stuff that come on the car itself uh the angel eyes i don't know what that is i would like to know what this is probably look into it later um adaptive headlight error so this is the thing that we disabled so <clears throat> here I can enable them and most likely right now if I turn it on uh, turn the car on it'll probably come back on um, if I'm not mistaken it was my passenger side so maybe the error 2 is the one but I'm gonna go ahead and leave that as, as a disabled thing I don't want to keep seeing that come up on me because that was really uh, here oh here it is uh, folding mirrors via fob this means is um, when you come to lock your door you're gonna have to hold it when you lock it um, and then the mirrors fold in and then as soon as you just click to open they will fold back out uh, so now you guys know how to basically code for the mirrors there but one of the things that you may say oh, okay that's super easy now that I coded the mirrors it would always function well that's actually not the case um, what you have to do is not only that and before we move, actually move forward with that coding um, there is other levels so this is a popular section which I'm assuming is what people usually come to do for coding. Um, then there's a standard which actually gives you a little bit more options. Um, and this is kind of just some options here. And then you can come into expert mode as well, which basically this has everything of everything that you can actually code. Um, some of these stuff are in German. Um, I'm gonna just say cancel. Uh, some of these are basically in English descriptions, which I still don't know what it's for, what it'll do. So I don't touch these of course so let's get out of this let's go into here um let's continue into back into safety so that footwell module was for um the adaptive headlights and then the folding mirrors now car access system we come back to coding um, again you can also read, read errors if you want to if i can talk properly you can check all the functions here um which we're not going to do any of that you can also check for live data um, let's go back to edit coding. What was that? Okay, that was weird. Cancel. Okay, here it is. Uh, you have to do the comfort opening and I believe this is with the fob. You have to enable that as well as unlock. I actually have this option to open because I hate pushing the button. But you go to standard again, comfort closing, comfort opening. That's another one you have to actually have to activate. 
Um, so these ones are the ones that allow you with the opening and closing, uh, comfort closing with the fob. Those will allow you to actually roll up your windows up and down. So like, let's say if you open your, or you unlock your car, if you keep holding the unlock button, it will bring down your windows and unfold your mirrors. Same thing if you click the lock button but your windows were rolled down still, no issue. You hold the lock button and they will roll up as well as fold in your mirrors. Uh, There's a lot of other options that you can choose from. Uh, something that uh, the sunroof um, opening, you can add a delay or not if you want to. I kind of don't do any of that. Um, auto lock after. I disabled this one because <clears throat> your keys inside, as soon as you do that, you will not be able to be able to unlock your, your car. It would just lock and unlock immediately, not letting you get out. So you do the second one. Uh, which is only once after switching on accessory, which will only lock once. Again, only one time, that's it. It will never continue locking itself. The only way you would be able to unlock your car would be by not having the key inside. I made that mistake because I did not read. Um, there's the auto lock via speed. Um, I think I have this one enabled. I wish there was one where you're like coming to a complete stop in my unlock or something, but... Uh, nothing like that. Uh, close windows and sunroof with the rain. If there's a rain sensor, you can do that. Um, and that's also on here. Um, there's just a lot of stuff here that you would have to play around and seeing what you can and cannot do. Um, interior, there's just some kind of stuff here. Uh, chassis again. I think that I can do the live live data. That's I think that's what it was. Called. It's not there. Okay. But again, if you go ahead and do your research and learn how to use the expert mode, which <clears throat> I don't know how to use expert mode at all. Um, if I do learn, I could probably be able to mess around with this a lot more. Um, again, I don't have any other issues really with the car itself. Um, I, I honestly don't know what else to show you guys, but that's about it. Uh, basically, you can read errors, you can code your car and everything. Yes, it's like $160 to do everything. Um, and if it's a one-time use, I'm just going to say it's not worth it. Definitely not worth it if it's going to be a one-time use. But uh, in my case, I know a couple people who have BMWs. I already helped another friend code his car. Um, you know, again, like that one shop, this, this is the same tool that shop used. Um, you know, they, they charged me like $50 to code in and out of that, uh, the both headlights. So, I mean, that was happy with that. Um, and again, when you realize the cost of this, uh, for having it's $160, I don't know again if it's yearly or whatever. I, all I know is I paid once and that's it for the license. Um, but yeah, enough about me rambling on and on and on about what's going on, but, uh, if you guys want to, you guys can have it, help others, you know, or have a little side business. You learn how to code your car, mess around with it first, and then afterwards you can mess around with everybody else's cars uh, and coding it. Um, but overall, unless you have a BMW, you know a lot of people, you're part of some sort of BMW crew, then yes, I would assume that, you know, you can code people's car with it. Other than that, I don't think um, it'll be such a big move on someone to just buy it just for buying it. Um, and not doing anything else with it afterward. So yeah, I wanted to make this video and it was mainly just to show you guys how was the adaptive headlights being able to be deleted. Um, how can you code your car? Um, you know, some people that already know they're like, oh, your mirror's coded in because again, I paid for the paid for the thing and I made it happen. Hopefully this gets you guys through your quarantine and hopefully this helps you guys out a lot in making a purchase decision in the future if you guys want to buy this to code your car or not. Um, there's a lot more stuff there. You just got to learn it yourself. Unfortunately, I may not get into that kind of details. Uh, but if you guys liked it, please like. And if you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, but yeah, other than that, see you guys in the next one. Bye.